Hi friends, it's Mrs. Pope here, and today we are going to look over how do we Zoom? All right, so how do we Zoom? Zoom norms and expectations. Every day you have a five minute daily morning to-do list. Number one, use the bathroom and grab a glass of water. Number two, find a quiet spot away so you can work for the day. Some friends set up a desk at home. Some find a quiet spot in their room. I even know people who have done it in the closet before because it worked the best for them and it was the only quiet place in the house. Number three, plug in your Chromebook and get your headphones in. Get all of that set up before we begin our Zoom. Number four, gather all of your school supplies from your backpack. Get everything ready so that it's nice and easy. Number five, if you have a phone or a tablet, you need to either turn it off or put it in a separate room so you are not distracted. We ask that when you come on Zoom, it's kind of like when you come into our classroom in the morning. We don't come in yelling, we come in quietly and we find our seats. So we ask that you find the mute button on your Chromebook or device and press mute when you come in. You should not unmute yourself unless you are instructed to do so by the teacher. This is a little funny slide to tell you when is it okay to unmute yourself? Option A, invading, in, aliens are invading. B, whenever we have a small group breakout room, you can unmute yourself. And I will teach you how to do this. If there's ever a tornado, you can unmute yourself. If Stephen Curry accidentally joins the classroom, if your house is flooding, or if you're on fire. Those are all ways that you can, un when you can unmute yourself. The next thing we ask when you join our Zoom every day is to turn on your video so we can see your face. Keep your video on. It does not look like this. It looks like this. You may only turn your video off whenever the teacher is playing a video. I will let you know when you can turn your video off. How to raise your hand. If you would like to speak or answer a question, there's two things you can do. Option one. You can actually raise your hand in the camera like this. But if that gets really tiring, there's a feature on Zoom to raise your hand. You would go to More, which is next to Participants, and click Raise Hand. Then only the teacher can see a little hand button that comes up, and I will call on you. The chat box feature. We will be learning how to use the chat feature in Zoom to communicate with each other and to answer questions. Use the chat box if you are adding to our topic or answering a question. We're not going to say, what's up, or hey guys. Instead, you're going to use the chat box only if Mrs. Pope asks you a question. Be careful because you cannot delete something that you say inside of the chat box. Last. Try your best. All we can do is try our best, and we are a team. So we are going to say, go team. We're going to come across technology issues. People are going to freeze. There's going to be unexpected situations, and we just ask that you do your best to help each other out. Let Mrs. Pope know if there's a problem, and that word that we keep coming back to, patience. Have patience. Thank you, friends.